So right now, let's dive directly sa food and fitness. Our main scripture is found in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. But before we read our scripture, I would like you to have notice, okay? To make notice of this, the tough realities that we are in right now in our world. Okay, first of Worldwide obesity has nearly tripled since 1975. It's an alarming havoc okay, of obesity. Mga baka, pastor, hindi mo ko obese. Ikaw lang nag-uruya, para na sa imo. <laughs> but guys, I would like you to make notice of this because this is really alarming. In 2018, more than 1.9 billion adults, 18 years and older, were overweight. Of this, over 650 million were obese. 39% of adults ages 18 and over were overweight in 2018, and 13% were obese. Next, most of the world's population live in countries where overweight and obesity kills more than underweight. So grabe no, amun yung subo ang trend sa ato nga, kalibutan. Okay? And in a moment, I will tell you why nga amun yung trend gadlagan subong sa ato nga world. 41 million children under the age of 5 were overweight or obese in 2018. Imagine that. Nami ang kasang bata, no? Nga galakat, nga gauyog-uyog. Pero hindi dapat galing nga magsigisigi na. Kaya maging danger na sa iya nga health man. Diba? May ara dapat sang boundaries and limitations as well. Over 340 million children and adolescents agent, ages 5 to 19 were overweight or obese in 2018. But this is what I like. Obesity is preventable. Okay? We can make a change. Okay? Habang mo to paano, I am changing. I am changing. Okay? Nga ah. Kay maskin, ano pa na ako, no kapaninguwas ang ako, yung mga diet goals. May aragid simpo kis ano, nga makaon, giko cake. Maskin, ano, ano, sa yung mga goals, no? Gaka-fall kagid. But it doesn't matter. Okay? Because for me, the definition of craziness is doing something repeatedly and expecting a different result. That's craziness. But when we talk about changing, I may fall, okay, but I will rise up stronger and not do the things that I have done wrong again. Okay? Come on, tell the person next to you, I am changing! Okay, hindi man perfect, but we are on that fit, on that challenge to change. Okay? For the better. And of course, for the glory of God. Okay? Why is it that obesity is the problem right now of our generation or of our time. The point is, the hallmark, the hallmark of our generation is really about over-consumerism or over-indulgence. People would like to indulge themselves. Too much eating, too much drinking. And we can relate as Filipinos because we love to eat. Amen? Basta Pinoy, kung di na may handaan, makadugin na. Okay? Kag even in our church, in fellowship, in life group, basta magtipon, gan imay? Pagkaon. Why? Because food brought people together. Okay? Gina, papalapit yung mga tao. But the thing is, sometimes, kung too much na, maskin ano pa sa gali ka blessing, okay, you see? Maskin ano pa na ka blessing, gali, kung too much na, hindi na nasa mayo sa imo. Okay? Ano akong ginanamin? Kiss a, when too much knowledge, it makes our Mind puff up. Ginahimo yung ka-prideful. Ginahimo yung imo, no? Nga self puff up. So much so ngang helmet observation, basta hindi nakaigo sa imo. Kaya tama nakadako sa imo nga ulo. So you see? Okay? Ang eating is a necessity, important, but kung magsubrahan naman, hindi naman sa gali, beneficial. Hindi naman sa gali, no? Effective. Okay? So, amun yung aton subong nga itakol. But, I would like to make things clear. It is not our duty to judge people. Amen? Because we have so many factors that are playing. Ngang isa ka tao, amun ang iya nga physique. And it is not our responsibility, okay, told by God, to judge people. Our responsibility is to look for ourselves so that we will not as well fall and be an encouragement and influence to others. But we can never judge anyone because iway takabalos ang iyagin pang agyan. Okay, basi nagdako siya katama, kay gasteroid siya. Kaya sobra yung steroids, naghahabok siya katama. O may siya medical problem. Okay, yung yeah, genetic made up ya, kada mo siyang reason. Kaya nga posible nga naghahabok siya. Okay, so, why? What is the reason? Three important reason why we must tackle 
this issue about food and fitness. This is one of the topics na per na shred off or ginapalayuan sa mga pastors. Because may mga pastors, you know, and guilty. Nga hapos ng kisa mag-advice, pero wala mang ginahimo sa ilang alawas. Okay? Many people out there as well, mayo lang sa maghatag sa imo sa advice, pero wala mang ginahimo first sa ilang self. They are called hypocrites. Kagadamo sina, no? That's why many people, ginashred off nilang ini nga topic. Okay? But, this afternoon, I will not be tackling about what food to eat or ano nga diet ang pinaka-the best para sa imo. Okay? Because if you want to check it out, ara tan sa internet. Tantanahan nga teaching ara. Pero na-share ko gani one time, no? Ang pinaka-best ni diet. Okay? Anong pinaka-best na diet? What do you think? Is the best diet? Fasting. Very good, no? Sa mga fasting, kadasing mo sa bad fasting. Very good. Okay? Pero hindi man tamang ka-spiritual, no? Ang pinaka-the best nga diet is kung ano ang imo ginaubra ka ginasunod. Kay maskin ano pa na kanami sang ila ginahambal pero kung hindi mo man sa pag-apply sa imo nga self wala man japon sang change and transformation that will happen. Amen. It's also the same reading the word. You may know any verses or many verses but if you don't apply it to your life then change will not happen or manifest. So you see, the best diet is kung ano ang imo nga ginahimo ka ginasunod. And of course, we are doing this not just for our sake. We are doing this for the glory of God. And we'll find out why later based on the scripture. But three reasons why we need to tackle food and fitness. First is health purposes. Obesity is the black plague of the 21st century. And it opens, it stems, okay? Ang mga grabe pagid ng mga masakit because of obesity. Next, it is scriptural. In 1 Corinthians 10.31, so whatever you do, I mean, whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And third, godliness. We are called as Christians to have self-control. It is a part of the fruit of the Spirit of God. When you are a believer, the fruit of the Spirit must really be evident sa aton nga kabuhi through sa grace ang ginoo. But the thing is, nang bako ko na sa inyo, no, ang problema sa atong generation is overindulgence. We are not contented. And true enough, we know for the fact, nga pagbata pa lang natin sa sininyang kalibutan, no, may ara na daan void sa aton nga heart, may emptiness na daan, nga we know that only Jesus can fill. That's why, kung hindi natin ma-remind ang aton nga self, nga si Jesus nga ginamang katag sa imo sa satisfaction, that complete satisfaction, itry mo das ka sa mga damo-damo nga butang, especially food. But this is what I would like to quote and say. Okay? Kadamo sa tao, Full sila sa ila nga stomach, but empty sa ila nga heart. Gina-try nila nga mag-escape, maging covered up ang pagkaon so that maibanan ang sakit sa ila nga heart. But the thing is, hindi natin ma-deal that way. We need to check on the root of our problem. And the very root of our problem is really sin, disobedience upon the very word of God. Especially right now with our culture. We are living on culture, Okay? Every nation may ara sa kulturang ginatawag. But also, we need to be reminded that God has also a design for us. Though we are living on a culture, but God has designed for us to follow. Kagamunan sa nga itong nga, tunan. So what is a gluton? A gluton is an excessive greedy eater. At one point sa imong mga life, nakapaminsar ka man blanga base, gluton ninyo 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 ginahimo. Ablang ang basa iba no, binliman ko. Sa gamay ko, nandang ang gino, Mag-upod ka binilolo ko sa lami sa kaon, ginatulog kailang ko. Tapos sa sige ko kaon, ang yagi, pero may ginambal sa akong to, binliman ang iban. Isa na sa, sa mga advice ni lolo ko, no, nga maski nagdako na ko, kagwala na sa dugay na sa napatay, nagtatakwi na sa akong, binliman ang iban. Meaning, don't be selfish. And it doesn't just apply sa food. In every aspect of our lives, we are reminded na hindi kita dapat maging selfish. And we know self-control is a fruit of a spirit of the spirit. Amen. So many sa no meaning sang gluttony. And if you may notice, everything right now is adjusting because of this worldwide problem. Even ang mga airlines gina-adjust lang ilang nga seating subong kay ginapaga ginagaan sa dako nga legroom and at the same time ga provide na sa mga dagko nga mga bangko for obese people. Okay? Ga change na gyud even hospitals right now are having wellness clinic Nga kung tanga masakit, do may ara ka, dyan ka to, pra isahay na lang. 
So, galain ang trend sa kalibutan. Ga-adjust ang tanan. Okay? But, what we know is God has a purpose for our bodies. Amen? And it's my prayer that we will have a higher understanding kung nga agit bala, nga dapat natin i good steward or halungan ang aton nga bodies. Why do we need to take good care of our bodies? Kaya para no ang imong abs, ipahighlight mo gid. Ang ibang nga abs ano, mang iban walo, ang iban pulo. Di pa ako ni sa Japan na. <laughs> Guys, it's not really about highlighting kung ano no ang imong physique, but it is about being a good steward okay, of God's blessing sa imong imong body. Three things I would like to share to you why we need to take good care of our body. Okay? Let me just say this, don't judge a person on the inside for what we see on the outside. So again, it's not our duty to judge people because of genetic makeup, different metabolism, medical reasons, etc., etc. And even Jesus at one point was accused of being a gluten. Because ang iyap ang mga barkada are the sinners, ang mga drunkards, Okay, ang mga prostitute, ang mga ginapang hangout ni Jesus Christ. That's why at one point, he was also accused as a gluton. Okay, but we know for the fact that Jesus, wala siya commit sin. He's never a gluton. But his heart, okay, reached out to people, nga ma, influence kag masyara niya. Nga share ko na, because this is what I realized. Right now, in our time, kadamos ang tao, gaupod si Imo, kamay kwaon lang sila. Jesus is never like that. Siya yung gaupod sa tao because may ma-impart siya, may ma-share siya, may mahatag siya so that they, he could influence them okay, sa truth. But kadamos ang tao, they are just there sa imo kung sa maayo lang at times, especially kung may kwaon sila sa imo. And then, this, these things make us uh, re-evaluate our friendship. Ang ato nga pag pakihabili, hahabilo sa iba, no? Ano gani? Basta muna. Pagkahalubilo sa iba, Nga put ko si Imo, kaya may kwaon ko, amun nga gawapod ko si Imo. Or, whether in good times or in bad, I will become a friend sa si Imo. I will be your friend. So, dapat amun na siya. Because this is the way our master, no, gin-present ni sa aton. So, let us not judge people. Okay? But instead, let's look upon our life and become an influence to the people around us. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20. Our soul, isa lang ganyan sa chapter, no? But, our message will revolve here because I believe ang munang ginahambal sa ginuusatong pertaining to food and fitness. Let me just read this to you. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. It is a command. Glorify God in your body. Three things, three mini theology I would like to share to you about our body. Okay? First, your body is a holy place. May kantahan ba nila, no? Your body is a wonderland. But no. Your body is a holy place. Okay? And we will see why. Second, your body is a holy, has a holy person. And third, your body has a hefty, a precious, a huge, a large, okay, amount of price that was paid for. Para ma-redeem kagma. Restore ka. First, your body is a holy place. Ang sa hambal ni Paul sa ila. Or do you not know that your body is a temple? Paul was telling this, was writing this to the people of Corinth during their time. Because this is the custom, the culture of the Corinthians sa ilang lugar mismo. First, they value food. And secondly, they believe that life is all about pleasure. And this is what they have quoted. Okay, that's why gin halubilo, no, gin refer ni Paul sa ila, nga ang imong alawas is like a temple. Because during that time, sa chimpo no, sa mga Corinthians sa ilang lugar, temples are being built. Kadamo sang mga temples. Because the very purpose of a temple built on a city is this, to remind people nga may plano si God sa ila. Ang munang ilang plano, that's why kadamo sa temples, galing ang nakabilis ang una. But the thing is, Corinthians have also other small letter G gods. That's why may Aphrodite god sila, may Apollo sila, hindi ni Apollo di ha? Apollo, nila nga god, nung ipanindungan man nila temple, kikadamo sa temple nila. But we know that there is only one God. Amen? Jesus, okay, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So may araman si God, ang aton nga God na ginas- worship. May ara sa sang temple. So, gin, 
Makita, symbolism ni Paul sila, your body is like a temple. Pagambal ni Paul sila, gets nila kung anong temple. Okay, that's why amunin yung naging gamit ni Paul. Your body is a temple. But what is the significance of a temple? A temple okay, should be a place of reverence, meaning holy siya dapat, meaning sanctified siya dapat, meaning cleansed siya, kag well-maintained. At one point, sa account ni Solomon, nag-hire siya 38,000 Levites. Imagine, ha? 38,000 Levites gin hire ya to just maintain the temple na pa-built ni God sa iya. 24,000 out of the 38,000 na gin-hire nga Levites are in charge of maintaining the temple. So, bras atong ha, 24,000 out of 38,000 maintain ng temple. Pang-limpyo, ta- wala lawa, tanan just to maintain the temple. Okay? So, muna sa kaimportante, that's why Paul is referring, reminding them that your body is like a temple. Take good care of it because it's a holy place. The temple that we are going in, may ara na sa tawag ng mga statues. Okay? May mga statwa na. But kung ikaw ga worship ka sa tutuod nga ginuo, wala ka man sa statwa na may makita. Because you know from the Torah, from the Word of God, nga when you carve, when you grave, no, engrave a idol, Okay, out of wood or kung ano pala yung muwi-muon, idol at na siya. So, kung magsulod ka sa temple ni God, wala siya sa sulod. But we know that the manifest presence, the Shekinah glory of God, is upon the temple where kung diin kagahalad sa imo sacrifices, no? In, uh, ang priest in behalf of you. Okay, so amun isang kakatabo sa temple. But the first thing is, your body is a temple. Meaning, we need to maintain it. We need to make it pure and holy before God. Our hearts is the altar of Jesus, of the Holy Spirit, I mean. Kag dito makitaan, nga dapat natong halungan galing atong nga body because hindi lang sa galing atong lang, kundi iya niya ni God. Kag this is His temple, hambal sa ibang mga pilosopo, no? Pastor, ang ako niya nga lawas, no? Tampang kadako, hindi lang kuya templo, no? Kulisiyum, kuya sa Holy Spirit. Eh, mga pilosopo. Okay? But we need we need to take good care of our health because one day, one day, we cannot judge you. You can continue to do things that you're called to do, but remember that everything is beneficial for you. But one day, you will stand before your Maker. And wala kaya may matago kay God. Amen? Kaya pwede man na mong physically fit ka, pero yung heart layo mong kay God. So you see, kada mo no, sa aspect na pwede natin itakol, you are not just gluten in pertaining to food, but you can also be considered gluten to attention. Do gusto mo yata nang magkua on ilang attention tanan? Kadamo, kadamo. So again, we cannot judge anyone, but we can stand. Si God yung mag judge sa aton tanan. So it's really better for us to make our life and cleanse our life, okay? Especially our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. Thing in First Corinthians six twelve to thirteen, you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will not be mastered by anything. Yes, you have the right to do so to eat, to sleep, to whatever, to drink, and whatever, no? Pwede mo imuon, pwede mo gano'y imuon. But always remember, at the end of the day, you will be facing God. Okay? I-account again ang imo na panghambal, ang imo na panghimo. So, muna sa no, end na muna ako na namian. Because you, you say, food for stomach and stomach for food. Na-realize ko, sang gina research ko na dihan nga amo ni gali ang slogan sa mga Corinthians ang ilang slogan food for the stomach and stomach for food it means necessity ang magkaon and at the same time dapat ma ko ang pleasure so regardless kung ano ang inyong imuon kag inyong hambalon da as long as i am eating and i am pleased with it bahala ka mo daya so amo ni slogan food for the stomach and stomach for the food Okay? Prohambal ni Paul sa ila, your life is not just about necessity and pleasure. You have a higher calling and purpose for your bodies. Your body is not just for your own sake and for own pleasure. It is for the purposes of God. Ang munis ang ginambal ni Paul sa ila, okay? nga maintindihan nila on their context. And even right now, it resounds at all. It has a ripple effect as well. Why we need to really take good care of our bodies? This is not again about us. It's not even about projecting kung ano madang imo nga asset kung ano mada. But it's really about giving glory to God. Okay? So that's the first thing. 
Let's take good care of our body because it is a holy place. Second, your body has a holy person. I have shared in every temple, may ara sang statue or idol nga gina-worship nila. No? Amo nang ilang gina-himo. Kaya nga gina-worship. But in our lives, in this body, okay, ang holy person nga R.E.D. is the Holy Spirit. That is the promise of God that when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, He will send the Holy Spirit in you. And this is the revelation yun na share ko man last Sunday, na, na amazing ko, it really changed how I praise and worship God. Because this generation is driven by emotion. Na notice niyo na? Nga ka dapat mag-worship ka kay God, feel na feel mo gil. Arbla no, tukaran ka sa keyboard. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Arna, arna, arna sa? Arna sa? Arna Holy Spirit? Nindog na blibo ko. Amuna, we are driven by emotion. But this reality, this revelation really changed my perspective in how I appropriate my response to God. Why? Because you can never ask someone to come back that have never left. Hindi ka pwede maghambal na Gino, balikan sa ako na, tupadan mo ko, dan mo ko ha. Bastos na para sa iya, ngambalang ko siya that he will re- come back na all this time, aralan sa kapungko, ko ginapdan niya ko. Are you getting it? So it's a wrong prayer to ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come. Because all this time, the Holy Spirit is within us. Wala na itong gaka-acknowledge. Wala na itong no, gaka-insindihan. Wala na itong ginasapak. And amun niya ako nga na-amaze, no? Because in the Old Testament times, the, the Holy Spirit came to prophets and then they prophesy. But in our time, because of what Jesus Christ has done on the cross, regardless of the sin that you have made in the past, present, and even the future, the Holy Spirit will not leave you. Yes, you may hurt, you may grieve the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit will never leave you. Isn't that amazing? And by that revelation, whether you feel it or not, whether you see it or not, you command your spirit, appropriate your response to God because He has always been there for me. For you. He has always been there. Whether, Lord, I feel it or not, I will raise up my hand and sing my praises to you because you are always there for me. Nakita ninyo? Kaga mo man ninyo, ang ginapain ni Paul sa ila. The Holy Spirit, hindi mo man siya makita like what you are doing sa current no gina worship no gid dapat makita nyo gid. Pero inyo na makita kang inyo ng idol no. Cannot do great things in your behalf. But ang inyo nga hindi makita ya, this is real. Hindi niya bogus. Just allow the Holy Spirit to move and he will surely move. Okay? Because I realize sa inside you. Ano ang ni God? To serve as a counselor and the power the kabod, the manifest presence of God, the dunamis, okay, the power, the dynamite. So, the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, you are not on your own. So, first thing is, you consider your body as a holy place. Secondly, it has a holy person that you need okay, to steward, to usher, and at the same time, to take, to take good care of. That's why dapat natin halungan. So, the Holy Spirit is within you. At one instant, when we talk about the manifest presence, the kabod, the presence of God, it happened sa time ni Moses sa Exodus 24, 16 to 17. The glory of the Lord, the kabod, settled on Mount Sinai for six days and cloud covered the mountain. And on the seventh day, the Lord called out to Moses from within the cloud. To the Israelites, the glory of the Lord, the kabod, looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Imagine mo consuming fire on top of the mountain. I would like you to imagine this. When the manifest presence, the kabod of God fell in this place, as if ang chambers building sa fourth floor gakalayo. Nga tantang mga bumbero, pati yung chambers na ginuwa, kay sigis la bumbas ang kalayo, kaya habi nila nasunog, it is the manifest presence of God. We are praying. It is our heart's desire that God will not just visit us, visit, visit us here, but He will really stay and manifest. One of the prayer convergence, we receive a vision na close pa ang simbahan, but the people are lining out there as sa grab office. Anong ilang purpose? First, to be healed. Second, for them to experience the power of God. 
Let me just say this to you. We believe that 2020 is a year where God will manifest our prayers. Why? Because this is strengthened in the faith. And when you have faith, nothing will be impossible and too hard for you, right? And when you have faith, you will really please God. So let me just say this. Let me just quote this. Intentions are good. Good intentions. Okay, good. But this season, we need good action. Kadamo sang tao, intention lang, wala ka translate sa action, why may katabo. Para sa imo, para sa iba nga mga youth, nung mga ginakounseling natun, maayong intention, mga luyag, pero wala mga take action nga piparahon ang iyang kabuhi. Di ba? Maayo na mag-check-check, no? mag-chat-chat sa tanan, pero wala man sang action. Okay, what I mean with action, wala man niya ginapiparahan ang future. Gakabuhi lang siya sa present. Nga, okay lang yawa ito yan, no? may makaon, basta palang gaana ito nga duwa, mapatay ito yung duwa nga fasting. Ah. You see? Intention lang eh, mayong intention eh. But in this season, during the end times, we don't need good intention, we need good action. People of the Lord, Amen? Kaya kung intention lang kita tanahan, wala may matabu, ma transformation and revival. We need to take action, we need to really nail down and pray, and fast, and give and reach out so that the revival of God that we are desiring and praying could happen. Kaya kung intention na siya po this year, wala gini may matabot tutuod. So that is the revelation that also God penetrated into my heart. Target this year, hindi ka na damo, amamo na o. Himuan na lang wala. Diba? Kaya damo, kisap kita amo na eh. Wala pa gani, amo ka na na o. Tapos kung na-fail ka, kag na wala na tabo, ang imo ka gina amamo na, muhian ka pa, na-depress ka, self-pity ka pa, depression, oppression, etc. Pero kung wala ka na intentions, no, nga maayong nga, mag, sige mo mo na, himuan na lang bila, then we could see transformation happen. If you want to reach out on people, di na magdamo mo niyo. Himuan na, so good, di na daan. Kamusta yung mo, friend? Okay? Hagada sa, kamusta ka, bro? Pwede ta ka ma- updan? Anong ginapangagyan mo subong, etc., etc. Kung gusto mo mag-share sa campus, upod ka sa campus ministry, kadto ka to. Kaya kung nara ka sa marketplace, you reach out your, your, your friends. Because this is what I've, I've realized. Tomorrow is never a guarantee. We have seen that happen. <laughs> Tomorrow is never a guarantee. If today is your last day, will you be proud of it facing the Lord? Oops, something for us to really evaluate our lives. Because tomorrow is never a guarantee. If today is your last day, our last day, will we be proud in standing before God that, Lord, I have done what you have called me to do. And this is what I would like to share to you. Regarding our prayer and fasting, we will have our last stretch of one week. So good tomorrow. Diba? Okay, my last week na kita sa ato nga prayer and fasting. But what, what I believe in, that when the church, when each and every one of us, maski na pa na klase, no, it's not really about the fasting eh. It's really about your heart geared towards God. Because sa muling sala, kung man sa una, gusto ko i-share sa inyo, when we talk about prayer and fasting, kiss ang atong ginabatayan, chimpo lang oras. Especially kung 6 to 6 ka. Ang manok no, ara daw. Alas dos pa lang. Daman mo lang sa akong mag-alasay sa. Hmm. Apat ah, lang ka oras. Guys, Maskin ang imo nga focus, attention ara kay God na dula na sa manok na. <laughs> ang imo ginaulat do kadugay mag size. So you see, mas maayo pa nga magprangka ka nga 1 1 meal ka lang ya maskip no. Pero sa ina nga 1 meal nagpangamuyo ka, kag nagpray ka, kag nag-ask ka sang revelation and instructions from God. Kay may makuha ka pa. Kaysa lang promisa ka nga mat 21 days ka giga liquid pung imo gyud simpuan ang oras lang. Kag di sinta ni pamantay sa tawo nung pasting mo din yel pigaw ka. Ikaw ya? Ano ka? Progressive ka ko. Ako ya, halin sang una ya, liquid ko. Yeah. Grabe no? So ako sa first week, nagkaon ko ya one meal because sa muna yung bako kay God. Okay? And then, this Monday, this week, sino nga Monday, ang bako maliquid na ko. Excited na ko magliquid because na, na-fulfill ko by the grace of God, yan naka one meal ko. Okay? Nagkaon ni kuya eh. Okay, sa first week, one meal. Okay, may isa ko ka meal per day. Sang Monday ni, maliquid na ko, excited ko. Pero by any circumstance, amo pag ako na-realize, when you are fasting, kanami, gitpermi ko, maset mong imo nga mind on the itinerary on that day. 
na siya ko sa Monday nga naggulpi lang damo ako yung physical strenuous activities as in na malhasig ko kinangakwat etc kadamo sa panghimo alin sang aga at sa naghapon so ang bako kay Lord Lord boss na ko masugod liquid extend na fasting ma mo ma one meal anay kanami sinyo no mga tsura no ginapang condemn ako abi why di ko ambal sa ibalong hate why makagali <laughs> but no Ang akong gusto ya, ipatudlo sa inyo amuni. It's not really about fasting, nag-sacrifice ka. Because when you have a close walk with the Lord, ang ginalantaw ni God ang imo nga heart eh. Amen? It's different. Nga wala kaya temptation, no? nagbago ka lang yan sa imo paminsaron, gulpi. Or wala ka sa maginaagyan, tapos nga ba ka lang yan, hindi na ako mag-fasting ah. Talaka mo naman. Ang bako Lord, ayuhon mo si Mama? Nag-fasting ko, nag-lala, pagiging yung ilan, at nag-39, pagit? O, oh, lain na yan, nag-give up, kaya imo. Pero kung may mga circumstansya, gidya, nga feeling mo, no, hindi mo kaya, si God, hindi man mag-condemn si mo, hindi ka na, ikaw, ikaw, hindi ka na luwas, ha? Di ba? I want us to understand that fasting is really about having a close walk with Jesus. Regardless of your commitment, your commitment kung anong imo na regardless of your commitment, will just propel you and push you to draw closer to God. But it's not a priority, Gidya. Okay? Kung anong imo nga fasting, kaya imo nga priority, ya, is to spend time with God. Nga ginamba ko na nga priority, kay once, ang imo priority no si God, huwag ka nagasapak sa oras. Right? Pero kung concern ka sa imo fasting, ang tawabla, everyday ga struggle ka. Everyday, no? Gaulat ka kung saan o mag-abot ang ice cream. Mayroon lang kayo spaghetti, no? Hindi ko naman fall sa spaghetti, ha? Pero kung mag-abot ang ice cream, ha? Why nang iduwa-duwa, ha? Saan umabot ang spaghetti? Ah, saan umabot ang ice cream, man? Kaduga, saan ice cream mag-abot, ha? Isa may muta na, eh, no? But fix your eyes on Jesus. Let's desire for the kabod of God, the manifest presence of God. King, God wants to win people, especially kita, na nawin na ni Jesus. Why? So that the Holy Spirit can live in us. Kung ang tao hindi ima-accept to Jesus Christ as, their, as His personal Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, hindi pwede nga magkabuhi siya because ang iyang heart is not ready to take in the Holy Spirit. It is only through acceptance no, of the Lord Jesus Christ nga si Gadya ang magtinlo sa ato nga tagipusoon so that the Holy Spirit could live in our hearts. Amen? So you see, people need to hear about the Gospel. And we need to share the Gospel. One instant, just ano, kami ni Jillian, nagpadang ko sa, sa hospital, Nag-pray kami sa iyang uh, nurse, nga friend, ang, ang bata, no, uh, 50-50, kagrabi, critical. Upon praying, okay, good, God is really moving and we thank God na safe na siya by the grace of God. Sa pagwa namun, ang Holy Spirit nagambal, target, I would like you to go inside that room. Makuwari naman ta. Lord, hindi ko nakilala. Yung kaduwa, no, basi may coronavirus na da, tapos ko. So, ano nga kung ngayon mo on? Nambal ni God, just obey. So, pag-obey ko, no, pag-open ko sang, sang, ano, pertahan, you do drama, no, pag-open sa pertahan, nagwa ang tatay. Hambas ang tatay, pastor, no, siyempre na pakilala ko, eh, I'm a pastor, ma-pray ko tayo si mo. Mali, pastor, ay, minggi ng imo nga abot, kaya hambal ni Doc, why nas lang may imo sa bata ko, six years old, baby girl, okay? Why nas lang may imo sa bata ko, because worst case of dengue. San Carlos pa sila halin. True enough, pagkita ko sa bata, na siya ko kayang ang dugo, gagwa na sa ilong. As yung ginaulat na lang, gidya, tapos ang basang nanay, pastor, ang iyang kidney, why nag-function? Ang iyang system, ang organ niya, ang iyang bipit, ang manakan ubo, ginaulat na lang, gid mapatay. But upon looking sa bata, ginamangkot ko, ano nga lahan sa inyong nga bata, ma'am, sir? Ang ba nila, Jaira Faith. When I heard that name, Something inside me nag-spark, declare life. Pray for life. Okay? Jaira. What's the meaning of Jaira? God is happy. God provides. God provides. Okay? Ang basa iba, no? Jaira, God is happy. Woo! Pastor Dave, sana ko pa ulit, Pas? We need to do an overhaul. Jaira, God provides, okay? God provides. And because of faith, ang faith pagid, 
I believe kung may faith ka, everything is possible. Make the long story short, ang mako, ma'am, sir, can I pray for your daughter? Let's declare life sa iya. Nga extend gini God ang iya nga kabuhi. We prayed. Pag pray ko, natingala ko, nga, naiga tanks. So meaning, Christian sila. They born again man sila. And they have the, the spirit sa ila, no? So grabe, damo-damo tao, mga relatives, kiti hulto na lang bata, mapatay. I prayed. And then, ang ba ni God, declare life. So I've declared life. Okay? But the thing is, after four days, gin-update kami ni Jillian, nabilin ko number sa ila, ma'am, the church is in our prayer and fasting, we will pray for your daughter as well. We'll uh, include it in prayer. And at the same time, kung may mga update, please update us so that we could pray specifically. But four days, okay, sa gracia sa ginoo, no, napatay ang bata. Ganang ba ko, sa gracia sa ginoo, because everything happens for a reason and purpose. Grabe, kung lang tawon mo sa, sa lens nga discouragement, masubuan ka gin. We are in our 21 days fasting. We're expecting tremendous things that will happen. Lord nga, ana patay. But God, give comfort into my heart. Target, what I've called you to do is to lay hands on people and pray. The result is not on your hands, it is on mine. You may not know in my entire purpose nga nadula siya, but one day when you stand before me, you will see the great picture and the big picture of my plan and purpose. And this bring comfort sa akon because ang bal ni God, one life nadula, pero actually why sa nadula eh, di ba? Di ba? But those people inside the room, na influence mo kag nakapanawag sa akon. It's more than one life. The parents, I believe it will not be an easy time for them. But through testing as well and trials, God is humbling us. And all these things, I believe, will work on the proper purpose and plan of God. In our end as Christians, don't stop praying. Don't stop reaching out to people. Because God is really opening doors of opportunities for us. As we continue to do the work, one day we will see testimonies of real people laging pangamuyuan ni mga matastify na even ang patay mabuhi, even ang bulag maabring mata, even ang bungol makabati, even ang, ang pipi na no, hindi makambal, makambal. Okay? They just continue, continue to spread and pray, spread love, evangelize people, and share the gospel to them and move in the power of the Holy Spirit. Because again, the result is not on us. Diba? Kaya kung kwaon mo karoon ang glory, kaya kung kwaon mo karoon ang resulta, okay lang na siya kung maayo, tanan. What if because hindi? Ikaw ang basulon, diba? Mabayang ko, wait kagid, hindi kagid, impostor ka. Pastor pa naman ka, impostor ka gali. But no. Okay, we leave the result to God. Let's just do the things na mahimo natin and allow the Spirit to move in our behalf. Amen? So, muna siya natabo, no? Let's continue to pray on people. Maging pangamuyuan man ko nga naayogin sa iya by the grace of God. Na-share na, di ba, sang una pa, bata man to, pagkad to ko sa Riverside, ano mo naman na? Nagpatay na. But again, God declared life. Okay? Wa-wa ang tiyan, ang tinai, arasagwa. Wala pa ganit no, naka one year old ang bata. But amazingly, God healed that boy. Kagaya subong sa kaliling, no, dako na sa. Eh? So you see, in death and in life, the glory is on the Lord. It's not on us. We don't have the power. Kal, text na may power, no? I've got the power! Ay, ano gano'y? Eh? <laughs> Kita yung white hair power, no? <laughs> si God lang kaya may power, no? Pag kal, text na may <laughs> white hair power. This is obey as the Lord moves in our behalf. My last point is this, your body is a hefty price, has a hefty price. Meaning, huge, large, precious price, the blood of Jesus that was spilled on our behalf. Okay, what's the purpose? Naging pakamatsang kita ni God, so that we will be changed and be transformed. Your body has a heavenly purpose. It's not just for the temporal. Yes, our bodies are temporary, but the real you is inside of you, inside of that body. Nabuligan, ikod ako sa hindi nga mindset, no? Sometimes, we think nga ang food, ang king stomach, ang ato, no, gina throne because we are physical being nga ginsudlan sa spirit ni God. But the reality is, you are a spiritual being 
naging clothed with an armor of this body. When you have that revelation, you will always prioritize your spiritual life more than your physical life. It's easy to dethrone King's stomach when we have that mindset. I'm not perfect. Okay? Pilan ako kay years, nga gym untat-untat, tambok na maniwang. Okay? But do I uh, mag, mag self pity ka, ma-discourage na lang? No. Okay? It's not too late. Ang mo to pano, it's never too late. We can start all over again. That's why we call it reset. Diba? People need to hear this. You can, you've got this. Padayon lang. Okay? Always strive to push yourself. Kung 30 seconds, ganito, hindi mo mahimo, imo 30 seconds. Kung may move na 30 seconds, mo one minute. Okay? Et cetera, matamat lang. Don't condemn yourself. Don't put too much pressure sa imo nga self. Nga kung hindi gani ang lawas mo, parehas no, sa ila, masubuan ka. Kung ang tsura mo, hindi pras kay James Reed, masubuan ka. Nag-break man sila. So, importante ya, may Jesus ka. Ano naman ang James Reed kung wala man Jesus? Unahon taya si Jesus. Amen? Pastor, paano ko nakabalo? Naglabay lang sa feed ko. <laughs> Bought by a precious blood of Jesus. Salvation is free, but it is not cheap. We have been saved by God, but it's not cheap. It was paid with a precious price. God wants us to live our lives for Him. And I'll be ending with this illustration. Our body is like a city. It's like a temple. It has also gates, doors, like a city, ano importance no? The Corinthian people, they know the importance of a city gate. Because in every city, may arag dapat sang walls and city gate. Our body, I would like you to perceive it like this. Your body is also like a city. Nga may mga gates sa. Your eye gate, your ear gate, your mouth gate. Okay? Kag iban iban pagid. May mga gates siya. So dapat, protektahan natin ang aton mga gates. Your eyes, is intended by God to oversee and look for people that needs help. Hindi mo pag-feed ang imong eyes with things that are not good visually, especially pornography. Your ears is intended by God to receive and hear from Him so that you can translate it through actions and words. Okay? Not to allow unwholesome talk, libak, kagong ano da mga negative, to enter it. Your mouth it was made by God to proclaim the gospel. It takes one person to disciple, to evangelize a person. Hindi pwede, no? Nga si Holy Spirit ang makita niya. Okay? Makulbaan na sa karoon. Imagine mo, Holy Spirit, gambal si mo, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Galakat ka sa dalawang na pa, puli si mo balay. Gulpila may gaupod si mo nga tingog. Nung paglantaw mo, wala man. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ. No, press kay Paul. But you know what? In this generation, God has given us the responsibility to win people for Him. Use your entire being, your body, for the glory of God. Why? For you are bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Let everything in you, your eyes, to look on the needs of people, your mouth, to speak the word, affirmation, love, the gospel, the evangelism, your ears to receive instructions from God and at the same time to declare life on people, your feet to lead you where the Lord would like you to reach. Okay? So you see, our hands to lay hand on people. Damo, damo, our entire being, our body is really a temple of God. Nagamito ni God to also influence and bring encouragement and life to others. What is the bottom line as we end this message? The bottom line of our body is not again for our own sake. It is for the glory of our God. But we need to control three things. Number one, our appetite. We need to control our appetite because I've said it and I will say it again. You can fill your stomach with food, but your heart is still empty. Don't crave for whatever it is aside from the presence of God to fill your heart. It is only a God void a God's present that can fill that void in you. Okay? So instead of having appetite on other things, especially, you know, food, sexual immorality, and other stuff, why don't we have an appetite for God? 
Because among sa ginambal ni God eh, kada mo sa illustration, no, kag symbolism sa Bible, taste and see that the Lord is good. Desire for the pure milk of the word of God. Man does not live on bread alone. You see? We need to have appetite on these things. Not just on the physical, but even to the very word of God. Second, say no and say yes. I just realized that saying no is one of the anointed words that God has given us. Daniel has said no to the king's buffet okay, and come out strengthened. Much nga nami ang iyan ng alawas. Okay? So saying no is really a blessing. And at the same time, when you say no, you're saying yes to something. Pwede mo apply sa every aspect sa imong life. If there's a no, there will always be a yes. Hapo sa imo mag say no, kung may ginsayhan ka na daan, yes. Amen? Pukabudlay sa imo mag say no, kung wala ka pa may ginyesan. For the moment, nag-yes ka na kay God, hapos na lang mag-trim down sang imo nga no. Amen? It's non-negotiable. Sa business, sa family life ni mo, tantanan po, di mo na ma-apply. Okay? In every yes mo, may aragin na sang no. So dapat, kabalo ka mag-prioritize kung din ang imo nga ino, kag din ang imo nga yes. Because at the end of the day, you can never please anyone. And you are not like God, nga omnipotent and omnipresent, nga mas kindiin ka, mahimo mo everything in one setting, no. God has given us the will and the in- intellect to decide, to prioritize. Amen? And of course, the last is say go. Move that body around. Let's beat and train our bodies kung si Paul pa maghambal, and strive to improve and develop. We may not be perfect, we may fall at times, but we will always rise up better and stronger for the glory of God. Dear brothers and sisters, I would like to end this message with challenging each and every one of us. Okay? Ano man aspect in your life, not just about food, but in every aspect of your life that you feel nga may void. Because, you know what? This is not just really about having that wonderful physique and body but it's really about coming back and drawing near to Jesus. The message that I would like to leave sa aton tanan before we come out from that place is that really about what food to eat, what drinks to drink, or even, ano, mas kaya patong mo, hindi no. It is about repentance. Because ang pinakagabi nga sin, one of the deadliest sin that we have tolerated in our life is gluttony. And again, gluttony is not just, just about food. It could be man attention. It could be man nga gluton kaya. Do pas man sa aroon. In the Old Testament times, kada mo problema sila sang leprosy. We may not have leprosy physically, but you may consider yourself as a spiritual leper. Diba? Anong leper? When we talk about leprosy, it makes you numb. And many people, they don't have physical leprosy on the outward, but inside, they have become spiritual leper that are really numb. Why nagabatsyag? For others, and of course, first for God, next for others. So it also goes the same way. And my challenge for each and every one of us is to repent and come back to Jesus. If whatever it is that you have took in sa imong heart instead of God, this is a time for us to go back to Jesus. Kag magamba, Lord, here I am. Not just my body, Lord, but my whole being. Even my spirit, Lord, I lift it up to you. I want, O oh God, my life to become a holy place where your Holy Spirit could dwell continually. Nga nga ako, nga heart, Lord, magbaga. Always the altar of my heart magbaga sa imo, Ginoo. So here